Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. If you are heading up to Beaver Creek for Winterfest, you're going to notice a beautiful gallery right above the ice skating rink. It's called By Nature Gallery. And joining me now is Jennifer Lenz with the coolest earrings oh, on that I have you. seen today. Why, thank you. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing today? Are you done with your Christmas shopping? No, no. Oh. No. I'm still procrastinating. You are? Okay. Yeah. You work better when you have I a tight I work deadline. really well <laughs> under stress. And I, you know, I'm in the perfect venue, so I'll just pick up a couple things last minute from the gallery. Everybody in your family must be like, all right, I'm expecting an ammonite yeah. or a shark's tooth. Yeah. Well, or it helps like that, that my dad's a geologist. So even if my brothers and my mom don't like their presents, my dad ends up getting them. So oh, yeah. it's fine. And he'll be like, <laughs> this is exactly this. And that's how you got into the science it behind is. Biological Yeah, gallery. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's hard not to be interested in and excited about it. It's so interesting to learn about how things were made and how mm -hmm. old they are. You know, the petrified wood tables we have in the gallery are 225 million years old, mm -hmm. and that dates back to when we had one continent, mm -hmm. right? So it's, you know, people come in, oh, this is beautiful, and I'm like, well, hold on a second. Like, yeah. let's think about this for a second, because it's, it's totally mind-boggling, and the fossils and the minerals we have, everything, it's just so amazing to see what nature has made. What nature has made, that's the best part yeah. of it, because, you know, people make things all the time, but yeah. oh, this is actually natural, and Jennifer and her staff, they know a lot about it. Um, this is a new piece. I haven't seen this one yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. We've had them before, but I just got in a new um, shipment of them. It's a Colorado company. They're taking old Rocky Mountain Homestead cedar fence posts okay. from like the last hundred years kind of thing that the fence posts are no longer being used and they um, polish them up a little bit and turn them into these beautiful ducks. And yeah, you pointed, you can see on here yeah. um, one of the old fencing nails. And this one actually has some lichens on the wood. So it's a really old wood that That's someone cool. has kind of polished up and, and revealed the inner beauty of it. So it, na again, natural material, but this one's been... Um, Fancied altered, up a little. Altered yeah, by it's okay. Yeah. We can alter things, yes. right? I mean, yeah. sometimes you just have to. But they're this they're really cool. yeah, they're really beautiful. Uh, great for um, most men for so many different yeah. homes in general. Mm -hmm. Just everybody kind of loves that. All the hunters. Rustic. Yeah, yeah would exactly. really like that. Um, yeah. Speaking of men's gift, my nephew would think this is the coolest thing Yeah, ever. exactly. This is a Megalodon shark tooth, about 35, no, 15, no, I forgot. Great. Mm -hmm. million, <laughs> it's <laughs> old. Million, million years old, found in the Carolina waterways. And this is not one of the largest Megalodon teeth. Um, if you can imagine, they would get even bigger than that about nine inches along the diagonal is some of the largest teeth they've ever um, recovered. That is just crazy. I mean, imagine if you were back in those days, like you'd have no chance, you know, so this scary. thing would just eat you yeah. in a second. Yeah, exactly. But it's cool to look at it and kind of imagine that horror that yes. comes along with yeah. it. Let's move from horror to beauty. Yeah. <laughs> so the other pieces I have are more mineral, uh, other mineral fossils. The green one in front is a piece of malachite from the Congo in Africa. Malachite, just beautiful, so green. green. Yeah, it's um, polished up really nicely so you can really appreciate all of the different, um, th the way that the mineral grew. You can kind of see some of that crystal structure in there. Starting, yeah, awesome. and like just expanding right there. I have a pair yeah. of earrings of, that are malachite. I would I would like to make that into a necklace or something. The, oh yeah, <laughs> it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be heavy at all. It would, yeah. yeah, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it looks like, what is that, an egg over uh, there? Yes, this on the far side is an egg that um, they carved down from a big piece of pyrite, fool's gold. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the cool thing about this one, again, with that kind of crystal structure, you can see on the inside, uh, some of the cubic uh, crystals of pyrite. It grows naturally in cubes sometimes. It's okay. not a perfect cube, of course, mm -hmm. but it looks kind of like a But they fancied cube. it up a little bit, too, to make it really attractive. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So you're taking kind of a normal collector mineral, and they, since they've made it egg shape, a lot of people collect eggs in spheres, mm -hmm. so it's it's kind of perfect for a, a shelf or a desk piece or something a like that. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say a lot of people collect eggs in spheres? Yeah. That's an interesting collection. Yeah, a lot you of must You must get to find out, like, the most interesting, I'm going to yeah. use that word, yes, for collections. Yeah, we have a ton of different spheres and eggs of all shapes and sizes, or of all sizes and materials, I should say. And egg collectors seek you out for those yeah, eggs. Yeah, people come in and they'll okay. buy a couple of them, add to their collection. They've got I always a learn something new when you come in here. <laughs> Usually it's like science-based, but that's all right. I like people. No, it's a little I inside like personal into interest. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, I can't so, see what that is. This is um, 
pyritized oh. ammonites. So again, the same mineral that the egg is made out of, but in ammonites, which were sea creatures, died off 65 million years ago. So what you have here is where the shells, where the creature died and the shell buried underwater, mm -hmm. the mineral pyrite was present. So pyrite literally filled in the shell and started to grow in the shell. That is and it's, it's totally natural. Beautiful. Yeah, pyritized that, ammonites. I'm going to start collecting ammonites. That's you what I'm going to do. I, that's the gallery a owner collection. is obsessed with them. We've got tons in the gallery of all of all sizes. All right, well, Jennifer, thanks for coming yeah. in today. Don't forget the um, kids section. Yeah, there's an awesome kids Sorry. section. It's all at By Nature Gallery, so you can check them out right Creek. They're open seven days a week, and it's fun for the whole family and for all those collectors on your holiday list.